If you are watching the show from North India, I know the heat is unbearable. It's almost too hot to function with the mercury levels making lives miserable. And I have bad news, by the way. With the IMD or the India Meteorological Department issuing a red alert for parts of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi and West Uttar Pradesh, severe heat wave conditions expected with temperatures likely to exceed 47 degrees in several areas. Now for those who may be unaware, quantitatively, heat wave is defined based on the temperature thresholds over a region in terms of actual temperature or its departure from normal. And what's a red alert? It refers to an extreme heat warning. It means that a severe heat wave has persisted for more than two days or the total number of heat or severe heat wave days has been more than six days. As per the IMD, there is a very high likelihood of developing heat illness and heat stroke in all ages. I will in just a bit tell you what you can do to protect yourself. Speaking of how, how hot it really is in the national capital, how prepared is Delhi really to deal with the heat? Let's face it, it houses the Parliament of India, the Supreme Court, the President's House, so on and so forth. Are these high temperatures sustainable? Also, by the way, let me tell you what a World Bank report says. India could account for 34 million of the projected 80 million global job losses from heat stress associated productivity decline by 2030. Yes, heat stress associated productivity decline. Let's also tell you what a report by the McKenzie Global Institute says. With 75% of the workers in India experiencing heat-related stress, lost labor from rising heat and humidity could result in a loss of up to 4.5% of India's gross domestic product by the end of this decade. And going back to what I mentioned earlier, how can you protect yourself from heat waves? These are some of the things that you can do. Minimize outdoor activities, that's most important, particularly between noon and 3 p.m. Since that is when the sun is at its peak. Also, drinking water regularly is very important, even if you don't feel thirsty. And try and opt for breathable and loose clothing while going out. Protect yourself perhaps by wearing hats and carry umbrellas and sunglasses if possible. Also, increase your intake of hydrating drinks. And if someone, unfortunately, gets a heat stroke, move them to a cool and shady area immediately. Remember, heat stroke is a medical emergency. So the affected person must be taken to the nearest health facility for urgent medical attention. Apply wet clothes and pour water on their body to reduce the temperature. Offer them with ORS, lemon juice, electrolytes or other hydrating fluids. Meanwhile, speaking of the heat, let me tell you this. As part of a competition in the UK, school children offered their best one-liners. You know what the winning joke was? What's the hottest area in the classroom? And wait till you hear the answer. The corner, because it's 90 degrees. You get it? Now, the heat crisis is no joke, of course, but I hope that this one made you laugh. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.